Hey, how's it going everyone? Saints Fan here. Welcome to another GTA 5 video. Now, before we go any further, I just want to say that for this video, open up your mind. Use your imagination because what we're going to be talking about is something that will probably not happen for a long time. You guys really seem to enjoy whenever I made the videos about the concept maps for like future GTA games or for DLC potentially in GTA 5, like including Los Venturas and San Fierro. Well, I saw this really awesome and detailed one a couple days ago on Reddit, and I wanted to share it with you guys and see what you guys thought about it. I will leave a link to the original creators like post in the description, but this is definitely one of the most detailed maps of like a future GTA game that I've ever seen. The only place I'll show it on the screen here. The only place that you don't have is Liberty City, which is kind of odd since Vice City is at the bottom right on the map. Either way, though, before we hop into this and start looking, you know, more in depth at some of these places, again, just know that this, well, this version at least will probably never happen just because Los Santos in his map is different than the one in the game. And if Rockstar were to add different cities and other places to GTA Online to make it their like dream world that they've always talked about in interviews, then it would obviously look a little bit different, but this is still pretty damn impressive. So we'll start at Los Santos over here on the left side of the map. You can see his version is a lot bigger than the one we have. You got the Vinewood over to the right. You got the Beaverside County. His version includes a bunch of different islands. You got the Death Island prison, which would be pretty damn awesome. It also, if we look to the bottom, it connects with the city San Dianus, which by the way is a great name, but that's obviously San Diego. And apparently at the very bottom, the, the red line, that is the U.S.-Mexican border, it heads into Mexico, which would be really interesting. I mean, Red Dead Redemption did that, but I would like to see Rockstar's take on, on Mexico. I don't know if that'll ever happen, but it would be pretty interesting to see, especially with, like, the border patrol and everything. Now, since I don't want to make this, like, an hour-long video, I'll leave a link as well to all the pictures in, like, high resolutions if you want to just go over and, and browse through them, because, again, I'm not going to be talking about everything just because that would take forever. This next one, though, we can head on up to San Fierro. Now, this was something that, you know, a lot of people wanted to see in GTA 5 just because it happened in San Andreas, so people were kind of expecting it. Unfortunately, I don't think we're ever going to get that, at least for GTA 5, maybe in GTA 6 or 7, we might see some stuff like that happen in GTA Online. But up here, we got a few interesting things. So at the top, Part, you have the FIB headquarters. Another interesting thing you might see is there's a Nazi symbol, and I guess uh, I, I didn't really realize this, but there's a bunch of uh, neo Nazis, I guess they're called, in California. So I guess that's sort of what he's going for. It's the underground Nazi base. That'd be pretty interesting uh, to explore in GTA. There's a lot of farm in between, like the bottom of the map uh, or the bottom of this picture, because that's obviously between San Fierro and Los Santos. Also on the bottom left, I love how he has the aircraft carrier out in the ocean. People have always been wanting that as well, so that'd be pretty cool to see. You know, I, this map, like, again, this would be maybe like GTA 10 or something. Like, all this detail, all this, like, depth in the game would be so incredible. Like, yeah, it might take a long time to travel to places, but considering the worlds that Rockstar make, they're not empty. So that, like... 30 minute travel from Los Santos to Vice City, it would probably be filled with so much stuff and it's not like you're just going along a road with nothing there. Like that, I don't know. Imagining that, again, opening up our minds, imagining the possibilities of this, like in 20, 30 years, if that even is the case, I really can't wait to see, you know, what happens. Anyway, getting back into this picture though, the top, the succumental, I think that's Sacramento if I uh, remember correctly. And what's also interesting is that he has on the right hand side, he has Mount Chiliad over here. Like I said, it's a little bit different than the, the version we have now, but up here is where he has all of the mountains. And that's actually in the Whetstone National Park. If we move to the middle part of the map here, you can see there's quite a bit uh, of difference in the landscape. You got the desert at the bottom part, at least that's where Los Venturas is. Up at the top, I'm assuming the white means snow. That could be similar to like North Yankton. I don't know, is North Yankton in Montana or something? I, let me know in the comment section. Where the, where's North Yankton supposed to be? I, I always forget. Up there though, you have the Sin Lake City, which no, granted that's Utah. So it's not as far north as probably North Yankton would be. Either way though, I mean, that, that's pretty awesome to have. Right above Las Venturas, you can see there's the Area 69 with the no-fly zone. I wonder how many cool like Easter eggs and alien stuff would be over there if they ever made it. And one of the coolest parts on the bottom right, there's the Grant Canyon. 
I think seeing that and exploring that in like a GTA game, like just to see what sort of level of detail Rockstar go into would be really, really interesting. And then heading to the bottom right hand side of the map, we'll just start with the main part of it. You got on the bottom right, there's Vice City down there. Now the only like weird thing about this entire map, and at the end I'll go ahead into the big picture again. This or most of these places are on the western side of like the United States. And I don't know, it feels like Vice City just doesn't really fit in like the theme of this because you got Colorado, Utah, Nevada, Arizona, California, and then Vice City's just thrown in there. So that's why it's kind of weird, but it's there anyway. And, and right next to it, coincidentally, is Texaco. Again, you got some Mexican, uh, you know, towns down there. I don't know what that big town, Felix, I don't know where that's based out of or what it's based on. If anybody can let me know in the comment section, that'd be appreciated. Uh, and then Paradise City up at the top as well. Underneath that, there's the Azarona <laughs> Nature Reserve with another mountain. And honestly, I think that's pretty much it, at least with like the big cities and the big features. Here's the, the full map again. If you want to see it a little bit better, I'm sure if you go in like 1080p full screen, it would look a little bit more clear. But let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this. Again, this exact map is never going to happen, but... It's always awesome to imagine, you know, a GTA world like this, like GTA Online as a giant MMO, let's just say in 30 years, if that's even the case, with 50,000 people on this map, because this map would be huge. You know, you could see people driving on all these interstates and having NPCs do crazy stuff that they do. You know, the cops, the border, God, the cops in GTA 5 are OP. Imagine what the Border Patrol people are like you know it, like ah it'd be so crazy especially with the area 51 the last venturas with all the casinos in there San Fiero, the golden gate bridge you got the mountains up at the top by the sin lake city somehow vice city fits into all of this as well anyway that is the video hope you guys enjoyed drop a like if you did subscribe for more awesome gta content see you guys in the next video and as always it's your boy saints fan i'm out peace